books, do you find people, you keep people mm. guessing right to the end or do they, d mm -hmm. do they say, oh, I knew that it was going to be? <laughs> well, I hope I keep them guessing right to the end. That's uh, the whole idea of the mystery is that the reader starts to try and work out who did the crime because each novel has a new crime to solve although through the novels there's also the thread of Andy Horton trying to find out actually what happened to his mother and why she disappeared and where she went and, and where she is now or if she's indeed alive or dead so that's a continuing theme through the novels but there's a new crime to solve so the reader has to try and think about you know oh, who is it and even if they might get to the end and think, yeah, I think I know who did it. They might not know why as mm. well. So I, I, they have been described as, particularly in the States, as complex, quite complex, which I wasn't quite sure whether it was a compliment or not at the time, but they are quite complex um, plots as well. There's quite a lot going on in the novels, but I hope that readers will sort of, you know, keep turning the pages to find out who did it and why they did it. Is it difficult for you to decide when to bring in the, the baddie? Because you know who mm -hmm. the baddie is. How do you bring that person into the story without people instantly saying, oh, that's the one that did it. <laughs> in the, in yes. the old days on, on TV um, crime things, it was always the person you didn't recognise was yes. the one that did it. Yes. But, but how yeah. do you bring a, a person in, a baddie in, without giving the game away. Right. Yes, on the TV, the, just as a side issue, my husband has this theory that the best actor always did it, so it <laughs> ruins <laughs> who it is. You know, we know he's the best actor or she is, so they must have done it. Yeah, it, It's a good point because uh, in a, a crime novel, the one thing that you mustn't do is at the end suddenly introduce a completely unknown brand new character as having been the murderer. So that is a real no-no and it would infuriate me if I'm reading a crime novel and it infuriates the readers. So there are a number of characters in the novel that you think, ah, that's a possibility. So I, it's all about, um, I suppose it's a bit like magic, it's a sort of slate of hand, isn't it? It's disguising the character. There might be one there that you think is the obvious one. You think, no, no, he or she's too obvious, it can't possibly be her or him. So, um, so yeah, it's a lot. It's the red herrings that you put in, and the and the side issues, and also the subplots, because mm. there might be subplots. There usually are subplots in the novel, and do they dovetail into the main plot, or are they completely separate? So, you sort of muddy the waters a little bit. But how early you bring the character in, it, it just depends on the storyline. I mean, they might be there right from the very beginning, or they might be in the halfway they might appear so